um just actually the other day there was a burberry spring 2023 show that happened here at london fashion week i think at the time of me recording this or when you listen or hear this it shall be the paris fashion week which of course is the premiere the creme de la creme when it comes to fashion weeks so already i've seen a few of my um fashion week um or assume my fashion twitter friends online essentially saying hey I thank God Paris Fashion Week is happening because Milan Fashion Week is a bit of a hit and miss affair. New York, London sometimes hit and miss, but the real big dogs, the real sort of like creme de la creme, the real sort of like heavy hitters are definitely during Paris Fashion Week and everyone comes out for it. Menswear shows as well, all that good stuff, innit? Or sort of even menswear showrooms, all that good stuff. So, that aside, um, Burberry obviously was showing and Ricardo Tishi, you know, being the designer over there, the creative director, whatever it may be. Um, it's been a bit difficult to watch, I'm not going to lie, especially somebody like myself who's been a big fan of Ricardo Tishi, especially from when I kind of knew about him, from when the, he was working at Givenchy and the legendary stuff that he created there at his time in Givenchy, the legendary moments in pop culture from the Rottweiler stuff to the, you know, to the massive... Um, septums and whatnot to just the casting in general with using like actual with using guys that look athletic to me anyway to the eye maybe nowadays they don't look as much but at that time those guys look like crossfitters because you know models at that time think about Hayley Slamane at Saint Laurent they were all very skinny and wafy looking but you know Ricardo Tishi really kind of popularized that trend of having those big burly sort of like muscular type road kind of looking boys who you'd only see in adverts for like cp or stone island but he kind of used them in his runway and they looked always really amazing and the ladies clothes look great especially some of the more feminine presenting stuff like the skirts and the kilts having a guy that actually looks like he runs actually looks like he doesn't miss leg day wearing those things it kind of sets off a little bit different and i'm just been a fan of that overall um but i should have sure i should have sure I sort of saw, I sort of saw, I sort of saw, I sort of saw the warning sign. Sorry, when uh, Ricardo Tishi did that Nike collab, when he did those Nike collabs with those mid-high Air Force Ones like things, I think I should have saw the the light. Okay, this guy may not be who I think he is, and this might be like the one thing that everyone does. Like some see, some creative, some people have the ability to put out one thing or just do one thing consistently well for a short period of time. But then when they try to do something else, suddenly the magic isn't there anymore. Maybe that's what happened to Ricardo Tishi. Maybe he was really good or his role in life was to kind of present what he presented at Givenchy at that time. Um, set pace, influence stuff. Obviously what he done with them, Jay-Z and Kanye West with Watch the Throne with the album cover was sick. Um, the outfits that Kanye wore during the shows were sick. All that was good. He inspired people to create whatever. He, the Rottweiler tees were so coveted for a while. Hair and Presser did a flip on them also. Like loads of good stuff came out of the back of that, right? Many other cultural moments that I'm obviously missing. Um, there was adverts of him with the, with the Rottweilers um, covered in blood as well that I seem to remember. He had that epic sort of like, you know, Twitter famous or Instagram famous um um, shenanigans and run-ins with Frank Ocean if you remember that if you're in the law you remember that Ricardo Tisha and Frank Ocean situation if you don't know Google um, but all that stuff is good but what I'm seeing now at Burberry is paramount to a travesty to his legacy it really really is it's so bad like it's beyond bad beyond bad is not even something worthy to say and the reason why I say it's beyond bad is because Kanye West was just at the show supporting his boy and it was interesting because I thought Kanye West's outfit that he actually wore was 10 times better than anything that was shown at that show. Anything. This is obviously Kanye West standing next to Naomi Campbell, obviously. You guys would know that. But what actually, what Kanye actually wore at that show, right, looked 10 times better than anything that was shown on that runway. Anything. And it's quite sad, to be honest, because I still think... um. Ricardo Tishi is still a legendary designer, obviously super important, but in terms of now, he just isn't the guy. And this is obviously kind of standing next to Skepta. And I wonder, sorry, hay fever. I wonder if, or allergies, I wonder if this is just a, con, if just if this is more common than, I wonder if this is more common than people in the fashion industry make it known to be. 
or like if this is just a thing that happens in general i don't really know i'm not too sure but it's just crazy to think of the person who was at Givenchy, creating all those epic moments to go from doing this at burberry especially a place where you think burberry will probably give him the carte blanche to do what he wants because burberry is essentially a brand that is in desperate need of something they're trying to look for something to kickstart them but they just can't seem to find them they just keep floundering and sort of riding on the coattails of their previous success but in terms of really setting trends in terms of really influencing culture and providing new genuine real moments at the moment i can't think of much the only other thing i can think of Barry that i've done really popular that we well was that jacket i think i saw tiny temper when i saw as soon as i saw him where i was like i don't want it anymore it was like that check jacket i was sort of like a puffer jacket type thing do you remember that that's the only thing i can remember that really sort of like hit and everyone's like oh i need that but everything else has been whatever it may be or maybe these sandals that Kanye is wearing because um i think these are part of the berry collection maybe the whole outfit is berry i'm not too sure but i'm pretty sure the sandals are because i saw them in the runaway pictures so maybe these sandals that Kanye is wearing which are like these bejeweled these sandals with like these bejeweled straps on the front of them they may be a part of the thing that may be the thing that kind of sets them off because Kanye wore them really well in this outfit he's got like a leather overshirt on this outfit is nuts by the way let's just say that because it definitely goes to what Kanye says about never caring about being hot or not wearing something because it's going to make him warm or sweaty because he's got a leather overshirt over a pullover hoodie that's up over his head with a beard and he's got another shirt on top that's tied around his waist with leather trousers and black socks and those big jewel sandals it's just a hot man t-shirt hot man outfit all day long and it's funny because the contrast of him and Skepta who looks like he's wearing a short sleeve shirt with dungarees which are also leather is interesting but you know what can you do um, so I thought Kanye looked better than every single model look on that runway. Like this is 10 times better than anything I'm going to show you from the Burberry collection. Like, look at that. You got, you got even auntie Naomi Campbell looking absolutely nuts. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I, I don't really know what's happening. I really don't know what's happening over there. And I'm really wondering, like, can designers fall off? But in this way, such brutal, like such a brutal way, is that fall off that real? Or... Is it the fact that maybe he was never that great as a designer and maybe he had a really excellent team at Givenchy that helped and facilitated him, added to what he already had in terms of a vision and presented it together? Because fashion loves to lionize people, loves a romantic story, loves a story that can add to the law or that can extend a... Um, or that can, yeah, can add to a law, add to the mystique, maybe inadvertently help a fashion school by saying he did this by going to there, um, perpetuate this idea that you have to go to fashion school, perpetuate this idea that you have to intern. Maybe there's a kind of conspiracy theory in that kind of link to it. Maybe, I'm not really too sure. But I just can't believe the guy that was at Givenchy has gone to designing this stuff. Like, this looks genuinely, genuinely horrible and horrid. Like, this is legitimately a waste of fabric like all this stuff with like this look look number eight like what is that like just tell me what that is please please tell me tell me what that is like this look like this is the kind of stuff that people on t fashion twitter love to criticize people like matthew williams about which i think is completely unfair especially when you think about the scale you think about the plate the kind of the level that matthew is at in terms of his career to kind of compare matthew williams work that he's doing at Givenchy to what Ricardo Tissue was meant to be a student of the fashion industry, somebody who's kind of well-liked in the industry, blah, 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 blah. It's just really unfair, like comparing both of them. Uh, but again, I don't think Matthew Williams would do something this bad, personally. I don't think so. Um, look, number 11 and 12 are nuts. What have you got here? You've got some sort of like mesh um, shirt, see-through shirt with the, I guess this is what he's doing now, this new logo monogram. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if it's new. I I'm not paying too much attention with Burberry, but it's new to my eyes. Um, this uh, is it a triple B or one B extended um, all over the shirt. It kind of looked Balenciaga S to, S to me, but it's not Balenciaga with a t shirt. I'm not sure if that's underneath or if this t shirt is sewn into it. Either way, it's trash. You've got this horrible metal goth inspired logo. Same thing goes there. Um, you've got this kilt, this hot, oh, I don't know. What is this? Is this the kilt skirt going behind the leg of the trouser? Or is that one? I don't know what it look number 11 what is that is that like a dress skirt that goes behind one leg and then is in front of the other like what again the flipping wrapping of the jean jackets around the waist with the dress i didn't like it at the first potato show i'm not gonna like it on there as well so no for that bit of styling 
you know what this also looks like it reminds me of? this looks like a lot like god bless the dead um virgil abloh flipping louis vuitton this looks a lot like it which people rip him for so if you're willing to rip louis vuitton um designed by virgil men's right you should be able to rip cartouche the same way i think this looks worse personally for me this actually legitimately looks worse like i don't i don't know what is going on with this entire thing i read somewhere it was meant to be inspired by goths and now i've got this what is this like i don't know and again you know imagine wearing like goth inspired clothes by like a luxury fashion fucking um house like fucking you know burberry just imagine that the irony the irony the irony irony of wearing fucking burberry inspired goth clothes is just wild to me but oh my god it's so so bad really 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 bad and um yeah i don't know what's going on there at Givenchy. i'm sorry at burberry this probably one's one of the worst things i've seen actually nothing looks like it fits um this guy's face in the background is hilarious i've heard cropped on my twitter right this guy in the background in the front row i'm not sure who he is but him looking at that somewhat perplexed <laughs> it's fucking hilarious that's definitely me does the look that like, what uh, maybe he's not perplexed maybe he thinks it's good but yeah this is just shocking all of it is absolutely shocking like ridiculously shocking but the front row was front rowing there was all the people that you want know and love to see in those kind of places there presenting themselves you know um there was a, that kid ding who used to pro, used to pro design back in the day at easy he was there um storms he was there Kanye was there so they brought out all the stars all the legends and the clothes just were not hitting in the slightest mate like like what like look at this look at these ha like what are what is this stuff like tell me what is this stuff like look number 43 and 44 like what is this do you need to show two of these looks on a runway like again and i'm not a fashion designer uh, i went to a fashion school in central st martin's but i studied product designer didn't study fashion um and i'm just a fan right I started buying Vogue magazines on my own just as like uh, someone intrigued from ENDS was the only person that used to legitimately go to Asda and buy Vogue magazines at like, what age was I? Like 17 or something. I'd buy my own Vogue magazines and read them at home and stuff and just try and immerse myself in the whole thing. Reading fucking Ram Man Repeller blog back in the day, Susie Bubbles blog, but then she started to become a little bit annoying. Um, fashionista stuff um the other that girl as well that 14 13 year old kid i forgot her name who's now an actress um i used to read her blog and stuff so it's kind of just it's all self-education but even my eye can see that these looks are horrendous and shouldn't be on a runway you don't need two of them at least right to, to send any kind of message or finger across and you can see from the reaction of the people behind it no one's looking at it on the way back it's just eyes forward but oh yeah this is absolutely terrible i don't know what's going on with ricardo tishi this maybe is more similar to his idea of Givenchy men's from back in the day but still all of this is absolutely shocking like i can't see many things on this runway like like look at that look at that look number 51 this is this is giving this is giving um fashion over mate if Fashion Nova made this and just replaced the those Bs with uh, no, FNs or something, you can't complain because this is something that Fashion Nova designer in-house should be making. They should be making this and selling these by the truckload to girls, you know, out there in America or where else that buy these sort of things. These sort of like one-piece catsuit things with the gloves, uh, especially in this horrible pattern. Like even the pants that look like they fit well. Like look, nothing looks like it fits well. The, everything's like just... <clears throat> I can't believe this is going out on like it's just it just looks terrible. It really does. Maybe it looks better in person. I have to see it and touch it, and you're not in the store. But God damn it, man, this looks horrible. Like, look at this stuff. If you, if people are praising this, but then ripping into Virgil, I'm gonna be pissed off. I'm I really am. I'm gonna be really pissed off because this is the same thing you motherfuckers are pissing off about Virgil. Even Bella looks. Look, she's smoking and she, even she doesn't look good in this stuff it's just i can't i can't i can't i can't get to grips with this like, what is this nonsense like please someone tell me what this shit is even that suit like a double-breasted blazer of some sorts with buttons and some oversized trousers and the blue that do you need to you need to show all these colors of that same suit the cut as well as the, like really free colors like look look at imran ahmed from business of fashion is that like, really free 
<laughs> it's like such a waste. Like, what is this? Like, honestly, this is shocking, mate. Absolutely shocking. All of it. Shocking, shocking, shocking. I can't say anything more about it. Oh, look. Irene.